Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me. Um, so in this video I wanted to share um, my July haul. So this is my birthday month, so quite a lot of these things were bought with birthday money and um, then I just bought myself a, a few other bits and pieces. So to get started then, um, I'm going to start with this. This wasn't actually with birthday money. Um, this was, and I didn't purchase it myself either, this was um, kindly sent to me by Sally Berry Publishing um, in exchange for an honest review. Um, and so I have got a separate video on my channel um, with this book. And so um, you will find that review if you're interested. But It's a lovely book basically bejeweled um, animals and I completed a couple of pages in there which I'll uh, slot into my end of um, month pictures so that was the first thing precious animals which I didn't buy myself as I explained um, the other books I bought I did bring this one so I did buy this one sorry um, so this is the time chamber I know it's been out for a while um, the Time Chamber by Daria Song, a magical story and colouring book. And I've been umming and aahing about buying this for a while and the thing that really like um, interests me about this book are these sort of pictures that look like clocks and um, cogs and gears and things and I like that sort of stuff a lot so I, I was um, sort of persuaded by myself to to buy that so I haven't coloured in this yet the paper isn't that thick it's not as thick as the Johanna Basford books um, so I'll probably just use pencil I might try watercolour but I can imagine it's going to buckle a fair bit um, but yeah there are some really nice pictures in here I like the way that they've um, that the owls look in this book as well and there's another clock which is what I really like colouring as well I like that picture a lot and this one so um, that's one that I bought the time chamber then this is another book that's been out for a long time as well but I haven't got all of Kirby's books um, the two that I haven't got are Animorphia and and Mythomorphia so I thought I'd buy the Animorphia um, finally thought I'd buy it. Um, I'm not massively keen on the doodles because obviously this was his first book um, but I still really like his illustrations and it says things like draw more jellyfish to fill the page you know I'm, I'm not a good drawer but I'd like to have a go you know if the mood takes me so I thought I'd finally buy this book because you know, for a long time I've been thinking that I wouldn't get it. So that's one that I bought, I treated myself to um, Animorphia. And then I bought, so these are all from Amazon so far. And then A Million Mermaids, because I've already got a million bears and I think a million cats. And I saw this um, on Shell Artist channel and other channels as well and I thought... There's some really nice pictures. What I like about it is the fact that there's all these other creatures, like there's a cat in there, there's unicorns in there, and they're all so, you know, cute as well in how they're portrayed. So I gave in and I bought it, and I, I like, I, would, I probably want to have the full collection, um, you know, in the other titles. So just show you a picture I just completed yesterday, I think, um, is this lovely mermaid and um, bring you in a little bit so uh, I used um, some new pencils which I'll show you in this video for the mermaid um, and then I used some other brand pencils as well my Holbeins and um, I think I used uh, Black Widow as well and then for the background I used um, some Prismacolor Premier Art Sticks I sort of used a, um, a knife to scrape, scrape off the dust and then it's not a pastel but they look like pastels. I'll show it on my video um, one day soon. And um, used um, a cotton ball to sort of blend and work it in. 
and then I put a gloss medium on top and stuck down, um, not a gloss medium, so yeah it is gloss actually, it's gel gloss medium which I'll show you in this video as well and it's also an adhesive so then I put the confetti um, on top and it's nicely stuck it down so um, I saw the gel the gel gloss medium um, on um, Colour Me Stress Free Debbie's channel and I thought right I think I need that because I think I've got matte gel because I um, do art journaling as well and I, I thought the gloss one looks really nice so I never actually thought of using it as an adhesive medium but I'm going to use it more now because I know that it can help stick down confetti and glitter and things like that so it's a good thing to use so yeah that's that's a million mermaids then um, from Colouring Heaven I'm not subscribed to Colouring Heaven but I um, I liked to uh, titles that I saw again I think I saw the dragon special on Colour Me Stress Freeze channel but I've also seen it on other channels as well and then I saw um, Busy World special on Lucy Adds Colours channel and I liked both of them so I thought right I'll just I'll just um, order these two because this is definitely my style I mean the amount of detail is immense I've got um, Colin Thompson's um, colouring book as well but it's double sided and not single sided like this so I might experiment by using things like water based markers and alcohol based markers, pencil etc etc in here as well because there's a few new pictures in here that are not in the colouring book so yeah this is totally right up my street it, I mean some of the detail in places is just crazy but I'll do my best and then the dragon special some really nice pictures in here as well I do like dragons and I do like dinosaurs and I really need to colour more of them um, that's that's cute so yeah um, I hope to colour in these so yeah I brought those two as well then um, next I went to my local hobby craft a couple of weeks ago and um, just bought a few things um, I bought the gloss gel medium which I referred to earlier um, by Studio Acrylics Pebio and it really is um, great and I'm going to actually use this quite a lot to seal my pages and especially when I want to use it as an adhesive um, to make confetti stick because I haven't really found anything that's massively massively effective at sticking down um, confetti that I've bought you know from Nouveau and I'd like to use I'd like to use the supplies that I've bought rather than just sitting there in the in the cupboards so that's that one and um, what else I got from Hobbycraft um, I like to add um, little jewels and gems and stickers and things like that onto my sun colouring pages especially on my PDF pages so I bought these shimmer gems I like the purple and the pink so I bought that and they're quite reasonably priced and then um, these pearls what I like about these pearl stickers is the varying sizes of them so I bought those two and then I also bought this um, it's called sticks to anything and they're affordable sided adhesive tape sheets and basically you can cut out shapes with scissors you know a die cutting machine um, anything really and it helps you know it really helps adhere stuff onto it so I have these which I bought on you know I've still got in my craft stash which are basically um, transfer foils um, and they're really doing nothing in my drawer just sitting there and I want to use them so I thought I could I could use my die cutting machine or just cut out shapes with this and then I think this on a colouring page where you're sticking on um, adhesive foils will look really dramatic so I'm going to try to investigate that and see if it works so I thought I might as well buy this and try it out and see what it looks like Okay, so that was all from Hobbycraft. 
Then um, from the coloured pencil shop, I decided to um, I decided to um, buy some more Pablos to supplement my um, growing collection of Pablos. I bought the 80 set and then I've supplemented them um, bit by bit. So I bought some more Pablos, which are these. So these are the ones I bought. These are from my previous times but I brought some more Pablos I think I'm 10 short now so I need to buy only need to buy 10 um, to complete the 120 Pablo set and then I thought I wanted to try out the Pro Colours the Derwent Pro Colours um, rather than invest in a set and I'm glad I did try them out because I don't think they are for me um, I mean I'll try them out on different papers but in the Mermaid book or one of the books I tried them in I wasn't they were too hard for me. Um, Derwent is a great brand and I'm from the UK so you know I think they make brilliant pencils but for me I don't think the Pro Colour um, you know are suitable for me and how I colour them. Um, they are quite hard but I might still you know I haven't given up on them completely I am going to still try them out on in some other colouring books because the paper makes a big difference. So I bought five of, the, five of those especially in colours that aren't that um, common in other sets. So I'm going to try them out and see if I do like them. And then I bought some um, Lyra, Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor. I actually really, really like these. These are quite soft to use. Um, they're smooth as they go down. So, and I like the thin, thinner barrel. So again, I'm going to test these out a little bit more in my colouring and um, maybe in the future if I feel like I want to buy a pencil brand, like I really need to, because I don't. But um, I know that I'll probably go for these. So that's that was from the coloured pencil shop, um, where you can get open stock of all sorts of pencils. Right, next um, is from um, Cult Pens. So from Cult Pens, Again, it's great that we can buy open stock stuff because we can, you know, just supplement any colours that that, um, that that sort of run out. So I got some glaze pens. So I got black, blue, brown, uh, dark green, a grey and a, and a sort of a magenta colour. So I bought some of them open stock. So I'm glad about that because, um, you know, usually you don't want to buy a full set if you're only missing a couple of colours that have run out. Um, they're also really cute at Colt Pens because they send you a little sweet. So some love hearts there. And then I bought I bought some um, um, Derwent Ink Tense Blocks. Now I bought quite a few years ago, I bought the Ink Tense Blocks, 12 Ink Tense Blocks. And you can see I have used them a little bit. Yeah. But um, I wanted to supplement them and I realised that Colt Pens actually sells the Derwent Ink Tents blocks open stock. So I got about, I get about eight, I think I got eight, four, four, yeah, eight. So I bought eight of them in some of my favourite colours um, as well, just to supplement that set and for backgrounds mainly because I enjoy black backgrounds. And then finally, um, I saw that they were selling these Uni Posca pastels, and um, there was a set of them, but you could also buy them open stock. I think they just wax, but um, I wanted to try them out, so I got three shades of blue, because I use blue for backgrounds quite a lot, and I thought I'd test them out and see how well they work. So those were the things that I bought from... Um, Colt pens, which are they, they are brilliant, they're a brilliant company. Um, and then finally from Amazon, um, I bought the Mercury glass stickles. Uh, this this I think came from America, so it took quite a while to get here. But um, the colour there you can see is Mercury glass there, so it's that one. It's really nice. Um, similar, I suppose, to platinum, there's a little bit of a difference. So yes, that's the Mercury 
um, just bring you out mercury uh, glass stickles and then I bought the Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Jewels, so anything glittery, I mean I can never have enough glitter. So I'll bring you in again to show you this, so this is just loose glitter, um, it's just um, really really nice so I hope to use that as well. Um, and then I also got because I realised I don't think I have the gold and silver jelly rolls in my collection so I thought I'd buy this uh, three pack with a white included as well and then I'm pretty much nearly done now and then I bought this case for my new pencils the um, Flamingo case I think it's a BTSKY 200 um, 200 pencils case so quite a big case because I'm going to sort out my pencils and I hope to do a video with all with showing all my different colored pencils because I've just recently done a my watercolor pencil collection so I'm going to do a colored pencil collection as well and it's quite odd because I got this rubber within within placed in here so I wasn't expecting to have a rubber in there but an eraser in there and then finally uh, I gave in and used my birthday money to um, buy the Caran Dash 76 Luminance set and um, I have used these so I used these uh, pencils I was just trying them out so I was using them on the mermaids picture you know the a million mermaids and um, they work really well I mean I really like them they blend really nice um, but I haven't I haven't worked with them enough yet but I am going to because they certainly cost a lot so I want to swatch them out and put them in the new pencil case um, and then I'll, I'll be using them more so I finally gave in and bought the luminance um, so far currently uh, my whole binds are my favourite so we'll see how these fare in comparison and um, I think I think that's it yeah that's that was my um, July haul I hope you enjoyed it and um, until next time take care and look after yourself bye